hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to uh, do a little bit of a vlog of my garden uh, for this summer and 2021 and every year i try to do a little bit of a project in my backyard like a landscaping gardening because we have a very few months of summer and i don't want to waste my summer not doing anything so um hope you i started my garden in the end of may for my vegetable garden and I'm going to show you how it's look like now um, actually I start to harvest few of them like broccoli and kale so let me take you to my garden so first of all this is my backyard um, this one is my first project uh, when I started in 2019 and um, I did all this by myself, the patio, I painted and everything. This is my backyard and I start to plant some of the flowers. And every night I try to put this fence up because we have a lot of deer running around in the morning. And I don't want my flower to be eaten by a deer. So here is a very beautiful petunia flowers. I love those. And um, here I have some varieties of flowers like genia and all kinds of like uh, false flower and this one is dahlia and this is coming up it's still kind of looking healthy for the moment and i have a few dahlia as well in here and then i started to put up all the stone before it was all like not very good looking and i order some river rocks and i put this down and i love river rocks look at this they're all different kinds of different color and i got a few of them and i make this my fire pit with a brick so it's very impressive <laughs> um you may not think it's impressive but yeah those i'm still going to burn them because i don't want to just throw it away i just want to burn it and use the ashes to put in my garden and I got some of the flower over there as well and those are the stone, the gravel that I put it up so what I do, um, I just roll this up if I'm in the daytime, I just roll this up so that way um, it's out of the way and I got a few flowers hanging in there and I got a few flowers, petunia on the top as well because we um, a month ago we have a very bad hail and it's ruined all my petunia but they are coming up again they're recovering it they just start to uh, propagate from where it breaks um, you know by hail sometimes they say that you will get the most beautiful flowers from hail damage and I think I believe that um, they are doing very good now so um, this my vegetable garden are safe from hail because we already have the hail net up we put those up and I got some I use this is my old fire pit I don't want to throw it away so I thought I will recycle it and use as a herb bed so I got some parsley and I got some um, basil in there so they, they did pretty good so sometimes it's always good to use soft things you don't want to throw it away just recycle it you know it works don't mind my trash that's i'm gonna throw that away and here is my garden so you can see on here i started my garden and this is how i use my hose if some people don't know how to use those learn from this this is how you hoe and if you want to make a good garden okay and this is now okay so I started started my garden end of May and now it's uh, almost end of June and how it's look like and my cat shadow is hiding under the see he's looking for flies or butterfly to catch and I got some broccoli is coming up look at that they looks healthy so what i did is i just don't when i start putting down my veggies yes Ado, what you doing did you find any flies huh did you find any flies honey no okay yeah it's cool down there huh it's hiding in there 
So once you grow uh, broccoli or any kind of green veggie, you you just don't forget about after you're putting it down on the ground. You have to take care of your baby. So let's see if I started today, if I started planting today, and then after like two weeks, I'll go and loosen up the whole surrounding area right here. So I'll loosen up so that way the root has a place to expand and give you a very beautiful broccoli and all vegetables in there. And I have some um, cauliflowers and I grew, I always have a bad luck growing cucumber, but this year I thought I'll plant it in a pot. It looks like it is going to be mm, okay. Do you see that, the cucumber? Wow, I'm impressed. So that's what, and then I just put it in the pot and I just put the a vine things to go up in there. So I don't want to just not on the ground and you know, all these bugs can eat them. And I got some purple color cabbage and some white cabbage. And you can see there are some bugs are eating my cabbage because they love cabbage. So I have been not taken care of with the bugs lately, but when I went there that um, day before yesterday, I see a very big, huge cabbage eating bugs in there, so I have to kill them. But for now it's doing okay and, and I have some varieties of kale, purple kale and I got the curly kale over there. Um, they look pretty good and then some broccoli I feel. Because I love broccoli, I have a lot of broccoli this year. I can eat broccoli anytime. And here I have some cauliflower, they look really healthy. And here is the way. And this one is the sweet potatoes. This is my first time growing sweet potatoes in the bag and see how it turned out. I found this bag in the store. It looks like once you are about to harvest sweet potato, you just open this up. See this, the Velcro, and then you just take it out, the potatoes. Okay, and let me take you to my second garden. So when you walked into my second garden, these are my bok choy. Um, the reason why it gives flower because I forget to trim them, the you know the flower part, so that way it goes more. Uh, it gives more leaf, and then like get a little bit bigger. Or maybe it just depend on the seed, what kind of seed you put down. Um, so I have to look into the one that you find in the store that you have to buy bok choy, like a big stem. It doesn't look like very big stem. And then I have some eggplants right over here. And I got some leeks. This is my first time growing leeks. This one is from last year. So I planted leek last year. This one, it doesn't come up very good, but this year... I didn't bother to look at it, but look at it, it came back and now it's giving the flowers look like. And I got some sweet peas, I put some tomatoes, um, things that to the vine can go up and it's already flowering. See here? And here is my tomatoes. So I put a bunch of tire and soil and then I put tomatoes in here. So one thing I have, a few friends told me that why, how did you keep your tomatoes to, you know, the leaf get, the bugs eaten the, the leaves? So what I do is, when you plant the tomatoes, after you see, see the stem here, I have to cut it, those stem. I don't know if you can view it, so I have to cut those stem, so that way the leaf doesn't touch the ground and it gives a very healthy fruit and so the tomatoes won't get rotten. So the same thing, I cut every part of the stem from the bottom to the top. So that's how you keep your tomatoes. So I have to still trim this one. See it's touching the, the soil here. I don't want that to happen. I can just take a snip and then just snip those. And then if you, I need to take that snip too. So you will see if you want a very healthy tomato, just try to keep two 
stem that coming out here and one here is already flowering um, so that's how you want to keep your tomato healthy and then once in a while I will just sprinkle some of my eggshells in here to keep the bugs away so there are a few eggshells if I every morning I'll collect my eggshells for my breakfast I don't throw it away I try to reuse them as much as possible I already have some tomatoes coming up in here and I got some pumpkin or you call it squash and I got some chives and I got some beans I got some green beans growing over here and this one is cilantro it's from last year's seeds just throwing maybe the seed fell somewhere and then they're just growing wherever they want <laughs> And I got some, uh, some spinach. This spinach doesn't do very good because I never have a good luck growing a spinach because of the soil. I think I have a very rocky soil in my garden. Um, and then I got some. Oh, look at this one. It's, I have to look. I'm gonna pick that. See how? It, oh, I can make that salad. See, that is great. I'm gonna. Pick one more. There are two. Wow. I didn't even notice it's already it's ready to pick. There you go. My dinner is right here. <laughs> and then I got some kale again. And this one is tomatilla. Okay, so this is the first time growing tomatilla. good recipe how to make tomatilla let me know i can try it out um yeah and then i got some oh my gosh my peppers are coming up let's see there are one i see one pepper right here and yep those are some of my pepper and these are my um collar i don't know if you guys some people don't know what collar is that's that's how the collar look like and trust me or not there were a lot of slug area in this part and I have to spray a little bit of water and a little bit of vinegar and I think it's worked pretty good so far um, so yeah and I got some zucchini planted in the tire those are zucchini yep that is my other garden and this is my yard, um, which those flowers was damaged by a hill, but they are coming up still. So those flowers, my roses are blooming. Oh, look at that squirrel. You see that? Oh, hi, buddy. Hey. Wanna come play? Wanna come play? Come on. Here, I'll give you food. <laughs> this one is the old pictures when we recently bought the house and I start to put the brick up so that way I can start my project. And then I'm going to show you how it's turned out now. So this is my landscaping project that I did this year. So that's how it look like. Those are my work. I work really hard on this one. I love flower. This flower makes me happy. I love to plant. I love to be outside. And yep, so my lily are blooming. I just love those. And here's two of my petunia. Look at those color. Oh wow. These are beautiful. Look at this one. I need to trim it down so it gives more 
what is going on oh my god there's a bird in my garage right there it is you the guys see 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 right over there oh i have to chase him out oh well and then there is a squirrel talking and a bucket of petunia flower petunia are great i just love them and here's my baby having fun enjoying in the patio look at her silly silly girl yeah i know is that good oh. Oh, I know. Is that good, Mystic? Yeah? Hey, Shadow Buddy. Where did you go? Come here. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, is that good? Is that good? I know. The summer is the best, huh? I know. Mommy likes summer, too. You gonna join us, Shadow? Is your brother's gonna join us? Hmm? Uh huh. You. I saved them. It's so hot nowadays. And look at our house. It's relaxing. Legs up. Misty. Hey. Hey, girly. So that's how my garden look like this year hope you guys enjoy you if you have any questions let me know i will be happy to answer and i will see you next time bye